Well, a good morning to you guys from London, England. Trevor the Aviator here, and today I am very, very excited with what is about to happen. So, after spending a few weeks here in the European continent, it's going to be time for me to head back to the United States, but we actually are going to end this one out with a giant bane. So, today... We are going to be going to London Heathrow Airport and flying on British Airways again, but this time we are going to be flying on the King of the Skies, the Airbus A380. This is a flight that I have been very, very excited about for a long time. So right now I am just relaxing in the park here in central London. But very shortly, I'm going to get on the underground and head my way towards Heathrow Airport where I will see you guys when I am in the terminal. Okay, so we just arrived here at the airport and it is really busy for what it is for this morning. But those are some of the highlights that ended up happening that you guys just saw that came from this trip. But very shortly though, I'm going to be getting checked in and get my way through security and all that kind of stuff before I had my way to the gate. Upon entering London Heathrow Airport, I will say this is unlike any airport that I have seen in the United States with the first impressions that I have had. This check-in area here just felt massive before I headed my way towards security. Okay, so now I am through security, and with that happening, I am actually in Concourse C where the Airbus A380s are at, and I will say when I'm seeing the planes from here, it's just is absolutely massive. Like, can't believe I'm gonna be flying on one of these in a few hours. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get some lunch and then do some exploring around and then get ready to board our flight. With being at London Heathrow, I will say this airport is quite massive. It's not as big as Atlanta or like O'Hare, but for an airport outside of the United States, this place is just huge. And if any of you guys are into plane spotting, this airport is a must if you guys are gonna be looking at coming to London for plane spotting. Highly would recommend it. But I ended up seeing some views outside of the windows from inside the terminal and also did some exploring around as well as I had a little bit of extra time to kill before my flight ended up arriving at his gate. And I will say this airport is not a bad airport. It's not the best airport that I've been to though, but it is certainly one of the better places that I have been to. And sure enough, after I ended up doing some exploring around the terminal, I head my way back to gate C56. Where for this afternoon's flight, I will be flying on the mighty Airbus A380. So it's time to sit back and relax and get ready to enjoy the ride of a lifetime. As it's time to head our way back across the pond on the King of the Skies.
with being able to fly on the Airbus A380, I will say this aircraft is unlike any other that I have experienced. I will say when I was on this flight, I actually had a seat up on the second floor of the airplane and the view that you have from being up there is that especially in the airport, you notice that you are higher than everything that is in the airport and higher than all the other aircraft and it just felt crazy being able to see that actually happen and it would be one of those where you just would not think about but being able to see the london area in that on the airplane as well just made this flight spectacular to witness and with being on this plane too the difference between the first and second floor is also quite different so on the first floor it is actually in a 343 configuration and is quite big from the looks of it when you are in the bottom in that. but however after i saw the bottom i decided to go on the staircase in that and the staircase is actually twist around and with that i went up there and it led me to the back of the economy cabin up on the second floor which was where i was at and in this configuration it is a 242 configuration so not as many seats up here as in the first floor but still quite a number of seats as far as the seat goes for economy class, I will say the seat that I was in was actually a pretty comfortable seat for the most part. And with that, I felt more comfortable compared to other planes that I have been on. And another thing that I also noticed compared to others is there was actually a giant storage compartment on this plane if you happen to have a window seat. So with that, I ended up storing a couple of things in there temporarily, and I really liked the feature that this had with this flight. But there was also a catch with this too, and that there was a giant metal box that was located underneath the seat. So with that, in some areas, I could not extend my feet 100%. And with that, I will say I wish that was not there. And also as well, the in-flight entertainment system was not the greatest. In fact, for mine, it actually was not working at all. So it definitely stunk with that being the case for a seven and a half hour flight which I definitely think the airline needs to do some work on the in-flight entertainment systems here on the Airbus A380s. But once we ended up getting in the air though, it actually was a very smooth flight to start things off as we went over the western part of England and also headed our way towards flying over Ireland. And surprisingly, Ireland was actually very clear and was uh, beautiful to see from way up above. Maybe some place I may look into at some point down the road. But after uh, getting through Ireland was when we did end up hitting some more clouds and such, which was pretty cool to see because there were quite some different ones that were around. And with that, for the time being, I just decided to sit back and take it easy. And with being in the seat in that, it was actually very comfortable. So it was really one of those where I felt like that I could just take a bit of a nap on and especially with that shoulder area where the storage department is a very easy area for me to just lay down which spoiler alert i did later on into the flight probably one of the more comfortable seats that i was on i will say that 
but with that occurring um and as i end up continuing to look out the window i did happen to notice this united 767 star alliance plane that also departed from london Heathrow right before we did and was actually also headed to the United States as well. After a little bit of being in the air was when the drinks ended up arriving where for this afternoon I ended up having a Heineken followed by a little bit of wine and also as well some pretzels to start things off. So with that I enjoyed it before the main meal ended up coming. Cheers. Settling in for a little bit was when the main meal ended up occurring and I had my choice of some pasta. So let's see how the pasta ends up tasting. After some very good pasta, the next thing up was a dinner roll that I also received. And the dinner roll was also as well very good. Next up was what I believe is some pudding. It looks like from the looks of it. I don't know exactly, but it also tasted pretty good. And then I also ended up having some rice as well. And then also, last but not least, I also had some crackers. And all of this made this meal fill me up and I was very satisfied. And I also decided to get a glass of milk because I am a type of person who really likes to drink milk a lot. That also tasted really good. After having a lovely meal, I decided to get the pillow out and this pillow was actually very comfy and then also as well i got the blanket out on top of that which was also a very comfortable blanket because i'm actually going to be taking a bit of a nap because this flight is a very comfortable one to do so so while we are over the atlantic ocean i'm gonna actually put the camera away a little bit and see you guys when we get closer to chicago okay so we are now about two hours away from landing after the flight that was delayed for about two hours here London, but overall I will say so far the flight has not been that bad actually. I will say this bathroom is actually a pretty big bathroom surprisingly. Bigger than what I intended to talk to show you guys around what this place is like so After taking a nap and using the bathroom, I realized that I wasn't really the only person on this plane who was doing pretty much the same thing. Because with that, the lights were turned off after I ended up taking a nap, so it made it a lot easier in that to get some good sleep in. And sure enough, my seat was very comfortable in that to take a nap in, and I will say that. I also decided to explore a little bit of the back of the airplane since I was near the bathroom in that. And this area is actually where they store some of the food in that um, that is served during the course of the flight. But after I returned to my seat in that, we actually were not too far from entering into Chicago. And I realized I actually swept quite a bit longer than what I anticipated. 
but I was at least able to get some good sleep on this flight and also there was not much to see besides blue water. But once we got into the mainland and that be of Canada and the United States, there actually was quite a bit to see still. And then sure enough, not too long after, we were beginning to head our way towards Chicago. So in the meantime, I am going to just sit back and relax and enjoy looking out the window as we head our way into Chicago O'Hare. After landing in Chicago, it marked the end of the big European trip that I ended up taking around the continent. And I will say it was quite a journey that this turned out to be. And also as well, being able to fly on this airplane has actually been something that's been on my bucket list for years as this just provided such a unique opportunity. I do hope one day to also get on a 747 as well, but that can hopefully be for some time later down the road. 
But overall though, I will say this flight was a very good flight. My biggest complaint is about the in-flight entertainment system not working. But besides that though, everything else was very good with this flight. The food and the seat was very comfortable and uh, very comfortable and to the point where I could get a really good nap in as well. But I will say this is an experience unlike any other for me personally. And also as well, I did not record this. But after we ended up getting to the gate, I was actually able to get inside of the flight deck. And here's the thing I really liked about the flight attendants. So when we were in London, I politely asked if I could see the flight deck. And they did end up saying no to that. However, though, literally five hours later into the flight, they mentioned saying when we ended up landing that they said there was the possibility of me being able to go inside of the flight deck. So with this, they actually went out of their way to actually get me to see the flight deck. And this is unlike anything I have ever seen a flight attendant or a group of flight attendants do. And this was an excellent job on the flight attendants for doing this. And if any of you guys are seeing this video, thank you very much for letting me into the flight deck for any of the flight attendants on this airplane, as that was quite the experience. But most importantly though, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys stick around to this long, Thank you very much for watching and go ahead and consider hitting the like button, leave a comment, or even subscribing to the channel if you guys are interested in watching some more of my videos. Until then, this is Trevor the Aviator from Chicago, Ohio.